My name is Farida Hamza, and I'm a mental health counselor working at Kartai. I think it's a big privilege that I get to sit and have people come to me and tell me their stories without knowing anything about me, to have their trust, you know, be uh, help them move through this struggle that they're going through. I don't take it lightly. It's a big deal to me. So many people, they work their whole lives and then they retire and a few months later they get a diagnosis and it wasn't part of their plan. And so to help them cope through that, I also see family members, caregivers, because cancer just doesn't happen to the patient. It happens to the whole family. It happens to their everyone around them. And so to just help everyone cope and facilitate moving through that, I like to think of everyone having a support system. You have your family, you have your community, you may have a spiritual community, you have your medical team, and I would like for them to consider me as part of that support system. I'm here to facilitate their journey and to just make it easier in any way I can. And if that's just having them talk and me listen, I'm here for it. If it's for them to get feedback or work on things, I'm here for that. I'm here for whatever they want to work on, whether it's cancer or nothing to do with cancer. That space we sit in is their safe space and they can do what they want in that space and I'm here to support them with that. We do this for patients and for caregivers. So if, you know, maybe they don't need therapy per se, but if someone taking care of them, because caregivers get lost in this, they disappear. And so if caregivers want someone to talk to or just someone to listen to, we hope to provide that for them. The bridge is such a special place. We have everything, almost everything I can think of to help them um, through their journey. So if they need financial assistance, we have financial counselors. If they need things like transport or a hotel to stay at for treatment while they get treatment, we provide that. We have mental health counseling. We have art therapy classes. We have cooking classes. It's just really special and it's a great way for them to come, maybe connect with other patients or caregivers just support them again in any way they need whether oh we have physical therapy we have massage therapy we have a cosmetic specialist so if they need a wig or just any other needs we can help them get through that really all they need to do is just come and tell us this is what i'm going through can you help me with this and we will find a way almost all of these services are free to patients to caregivers and so I hope they take advantage of it because cancer is hard enough and the, these kind of things can help them cope. And what we want to do is help them get through it. Cancer doesn't have to be the end all. Cancer doesn't have to define them. They can define their cancer journey. I'm Farida Hamza, I'm a mental health counselor and I cannot wait to see you on the bridge.